Hi all, in this video, we are going to draw an ellipse using eccentricity method. The question is, construct an ellipse when the distance of the focus from the directrix is equal to 50 mm. Eccentricity is 2 by 3. Draw a tangent and normal at a point 50 mm from the center of the ellipse. So in this question, the distance of focus from the directrix is given, that is 50 mm. Eccentricity is also given, that is 2 by 3. And we have to draw the ellipse using eccentricity method. And also, we have to draw a tangent and normal at a point 50 mm from the center of the ellipse. Okay, first we have to draw the directrix. We can draw directrix of any length and we can note the midpoint. And the directrix is named as DD. And the midpoint is marked as A. Now I am drawing a horizontal line from A, which is the axis of the ellipse. And the focus of the ellipse lies on this axis. You can call it as major axis and the focus lies on the major axis. It is given that focus is 50 mm away from the directrix. So we can mark F as focus that is 50 mm away from the directrix. Eccentricity of the ellipse is given which is 2 by 3 which is less than 1. Eccentricity of the ellipse is always less than 1 and I am adding 2 and 3 that is 2 plus 3 equals 5. Therefore now I am going to divide AF into 5 equal parts. This is for finding the vertex of the ellipse. So I am drawing an inclined line and I am cutting arcs of equal distance that is I am going to cut 5 arcs which are equidistant for dividing AF into 5 equal parts. And I am joining the last arc with F. And I am drawing parallel lines from other points. So now we divided AF into 5 equal parts. Now I am going to mark the vertex of the ellipse which is 2 division away from the focus. Therefore, that point is vertex and I am marking it as V. Eccentricity is 2 by 3 that is V is 3 division away from the directrix and 2 division away from the focus. And now I am going to draw a vertical line from V. I am simply draw a vertical line and I am measuring the length VF on compass and I am cutting an arc on the vertical line. That point is E. Now I am going to draw a straight line from A which is passing through E and I am extending the line to some length. Now I am marking points on the major axis which is on the right side of the vertex V. There is already a point between V and F. I took it as 1 and I am simply marking 2, 3, 4 etc. There is no rule that these points must be equidistant. You can just take the points randomly. And I am marking up to point 7. Okay. Now I am drawing a vertical line from point 1 which is passes through the inclined line through point E. And I am extending the line downwards. Similarly, I am drawing a vertical line from point 2, 3, 4 etc. All these lines pass through the inclined line which we draw which we drawn from a which passes through E. Okay. I am extending the line downwards also. Now I am measuring the length 1 1 dash on compass and with F as center I am cutting an arc on the 
vertical line passing through point 1 okay go two hours one on the upper side and one on the down side similarly i am measuring the length two two dash and compass and with focus as center f as center i am cutting an arc on the vertical line passes through which is passing through point 2 Similarly, I am measuring 3 3 dash on compass and with F as center, I am cutting arc on the vertical line which is passing through point 3. Similarly, I am finding points from 4, 5, 6 and 7. I need more points so I am extending the line AE again to some length and I am going to mark another point on major axis that is point 8. And I am drawing vertical line from point 8 which passes through the inglade line at 8 dash and I am measuring 8 8 dash and with F as center I am cutting arcs on the vertical line passing through 8 I am marking point 9 also and I am drawing vertical line from point 9 and that line will pass through the inglade line at 9 dash I am measuring the length 9 9 dash on compass and with F as center I am cutting arcs on the vertical line which is passing through point 9. So I got some points and I am marking points as P1 P1 dash P2 P2 dash P3 P3 dash P4 P4 dash P5 P5 dash P6 P6 dash P7, P7 dash, P8, P8 dash, P9, P9 dash. So we got some points and I am drawing a curve from V which is passing through all the points. Okay. And I am drawing curve on the downside also from V which is passing through P1 dash, P2 dash etc you have to draw a smooth curve through all these points and now the curve has to meet the major axis so i am simply extending the curve okay from both sides and it will meet the major axis at the vertex of the ellipse and that vertex is V dash. I am extending the major axis again to some length and I am measuring VA on compass. VA on compass and from V dash I am cutting an arc on the major axis. That point is A dash. 
okay that point is a dash and the vertical line through that point is our second directrix that is d dash d dash okay that point is a a dash okay i found the center of the ellipse which is the midpoint of v v dash and that point is marked as o and there is one more question we have to draw the tangent and normal of the ellipse which is at a point 50 mm from the center of the ellipse so i measured 50 mm on the compass and i am cutting an arc on the ellipse okay and that point is 50 mm away from the center of the ellipse and i marked that point as p now i am measuring vf on compass the distance vf on the compass and from v dash i am cutting an arc on major axis that point is our second focus that is f dash okay now i am joining p and f dash i am drawing a straight line from p to f dash now i am going to draw a line which is perpendicular to p f dash from f dash and that perpendicular line will meet the directrix at point t okay that point is point t p f dash and f dash t are perpendicular and now i am going to draw a straight line from t which is passing through point p okay that line is our tangent okay i am marking the other point also as t now tpt is our tangent the tangent is passing through point p which is 50 mm from the center of the ellipse and i am going to draw a line perpendicular to the line tpt through point p okay that is our normal the normal is always perpendicular to tangent and now we drawn a tangent and normal to the ellipse at a point p which is 50 mm from the center of the ellipse okay now i am going to dimension the distance of the focus from ellipse okay that is 50 mm it is given in the question okay i am naming the curve as ellipse okay npn is our normal and tpt is our tangent okay i forgot to mark the distance of point p from the center o that is that radius i forgot to mark that that is 50 mm okay you have to mark that also so our drawing is completed i hope you understood the drawing if you like the video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also thank you